and you know it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her, Millie. All right, guys. I'm gonna miss Millie. I'm gonna be doing lots of cuddles, just like this. My hair is in the way. No. I'm gonna miss you, though. I'm gonna miss you so much. You come? I wish. Both of you come with me? I wish. He wouldn't like the flight. No, he wouldn't. It's too long. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you, though. This is so much better. You're gonna have so much fun. Yes. Yeah. I'll say hi to everyone for yeah. you. Yeah. Lots of FaceTimes. Yeah. Look at this boy. I <laughs> know. He's so sleepy. He's a sleepy boy. He's just in your arms. He's been like this for like half an hour. <laughs> just laying on his back, nuzzled up into my arm. He's tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go do some packing. Okay, Bob. Okay. 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 I love you. I love you. Both of you. We love you. I have you balanced on like a shoe shelf. I'm in my closet because I am packing. I'm packing my suitcase and I'm going to Ireland tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm also very nervous and anxious, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, is that noise? I have a bit of packing to do. My suitcase is down on the floor while I sort through the clothes I want to bring and the things I want to bring and just getting my suitcase sorted. I figure I'd talk, chat to you. I'm going to be vlogging this trip. I think it's going to be really exciting, the whole thing. It's going to be really fun. And I, yeah, I just, I, I can't wait. So I have a couple gifts that I'm bringing. Really small things, nothing crazy. Mostly like sweets and candy that, uh, you can't get in Ireland that my family really like. So I'm gonna show you that. So for my dad, well, everyone really, but my dad loves these Milanos. They're so yummy. So every time I go home, which has only been, this is actually only the second time because of the world. So, but uh, I will bring him some, he loves the mint ones. So I'm getting him the mint ones. And also just milk chocolate and double milk chocolate, just cause everyone likes them. A candy staple that uh, you can't get in Ireland, but everyone loves milk duds. Oops. <laughs> milk duds. They love these and we can't get them. So I got five boxes. We're sorted. Of course, classic Hershey's Kisses. They didn't have the regular ones, which weird. I got the dark ones. I don't know why. I don't like dark chocolate, but people in my house do, so. I'm gonna bring these anyway, and maybe at the airport I can see if they have any normal ones. For my sister, I got her some Peeps. I don't think she's ever had these. She doesn't know I'm bringing them. She just got two new kittens, and one of them is called Peep, so she's gonna appreciate that. I have an eyelash in my eye. Ugh, I hate that. Ugh. So speaking of kittens, my sister got two new kittens who I'm going to meet for the first time. I got them some toys. They're like Disney cat toys. They're kind of like donuts, I suppose. All themed on different characters. Just a few little bits and pieces for the fam. Although they told me not to bring anything, only myself. It's crazy. I'm so excited. I'm flying tomorrow morning. My flight is early. We have to get up early tomorrow. My sweet husband, best in the world, is driving me. It's been like a little bit nerve-wracking with wondering if this trip was gonna happen or not and it's, sometimes it's like hard to get your hopes up in case it doesn't or it's like not safe to fly the only thing i'm waiting on i'm a little bit anxious about although it will come is i got a covid test yesterday and it should have been emailed to me today by 2 p.m it's now almost four and there's no sign of it i've already been speaking to them and they said that it's coming just to keep an eye on my emails fingers crossed the rules actually changed as of today monday the 19th of july ireland eased some of the travel restrictions for international travelers come in here yeah you have a pink drink in the kitchen i do mm -hmm. i have a pink drink uh -huh. and, um, and a rice crispy treat you must love me what are you doing? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm saying that you're cute. I'm almost done. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? 
I'm gonna find it. You're not gonna. I'm gonna know. find it when I edit it. <laughs> <laughs> I put out my pink. What? <laughs> that was OD. That's what is OD. As I was saying, the travel restrictions lifted yesterday. No, today. Before today. Regardless of your vaccination status, you still had to present a negative test upon arrival or to fly to Ireland. And as of today, if you're vaccinated, you don't have to. And I am vaccinated, so we're doing this as safely as possible. It's a different situation to the last time I went home. I had the COVID test booked anyway, just in case that rule didn't change. But I decided just to keep the appointment and to get it done anyway. Just on the safe side, at least for my own peace of mind that like, I know I definitely don't have it. I'm not bringing it with me. What it was before today was that if you were vaccinated, you still had to present a negative test and also quarantine for five days. There's a big change from last time. Restrictions have eased if you are vaccinated. You don't have to prove a test and you don't have to quarantine, which makes me so happy because it means I get more time with everyone. And also it means I can hug my parents when I see them. That was really hard the last time. I went back home in December. I did a video of me traveling. If some of you may have seen it already. It was really hard because I, had to like walk up to my parents but we couldn't like I had to just get into the car and we couldn't touch each other I had to go straight to my bedroom for 14 days and I didn't hug them until two weeks later so that was really hard but this time we won't have that it's gonna feel so normal this time and I can't wait I can't wait so it's a one-stop flight that's the other downside before this current world situation um, there was a non-stop direct flight from Dublin to LAX operated by Aer Lingus which was I use that route so many times it's fantastic you can get a really good price as well off season I utilize that a lot when me and Ashton were dating and when we would have to fly back and over to see each other the direct flight is amazing I don't mind long-haul flights if it just means you, I just like the idea of get on get off and I hate the change and the stress with immigration and baggage and all that shit. That route is still not operating. So I am stopping in Newark on the way over and stopping in Chicago on the way back. So my first flight leaves to Newark and then I have a three hour stop in Newark tomorrow and then on to Dublin. I'm gonna take you along with me and uh, vlog this whole journey, vlog my trip. All right, I have a pink drink waiting for me and I will check in with you when I have my test results sniffing around my passport. This is a really high angle, what? <laughs> okay, the email finally came through. I got my test results negative, so we're good to go. Woohoo! That's what you want. It's 20 past five right now. I was supposed to get the results before 2 p.m. So I was starting to panic. Not that I need to. Now I can check in for my flight. Weird misunderstanding. They, apparently the lab had already sent it, but they sent it to the wrong email. I don't know, I didn't, yeah, anyway, actually fair play to them. They, they dealt with it really quickly. They were on it. So I have all my travel documents proof. We're good to go. So excited. Let's go. At the gate for the first flight. I've just been crying a lot. Tidy myself up a little bit. I really miss Ashton. I'm holding. So excited though. Everything going good so far?
is she hiding it? Yes. She's hiding it. sitting in my brother's room because we're getting ready to go to the beach for a walk and whatever else. I got a bit of a Rudolph situation going on here. Wearing a mask for 12 hours straight. <laughs> oh, look at you. Ciao, bro. Hello, guys. My name is Matthew. I'm your tour guide for today. <laughs> we're uh, taking a spin down to Old Head. Uh, see Bye, you Nini. <laughs> I wrote that goodbye. And yes, Old Head is very famous for spider crabs. Is this true? Uh, sure. Um, I know there is spider crabs down there. Uh, I just haven't seen. I saw one. A beautiful spot for cliff jumping, uh, snorkeling, um, not surfing. There's no waves here. Okay. Very nice for uh, paddle boarding, kayaking, all these things. Perfect spot for it. Cool. A uh, lovely view of Crow Patrick. There's caves. You can swim in around the caves. You go here a lot. Uh, I go here maybe three times a week. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> This is my second home. Maybe oh, my good. first home. Just <laughs> left my second home. Can you hear me, Lori? Hi. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, obviously not. I love this song. Oh my god. Uh, Morty. You want when you pass Merce, give me a call. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Sound. All right then. All right. All right talk to you. Good luck. Bye bye. Sorry about that, guys. We were in the middle of a John Mayer album. I wanted to film you giving directions because it was hilarious. <laughs>
apologize for the noise in the background. Ireland is so hot right now. It is sweltering here. Like, we are not used to this. It's, I think it's 29 degrees. It was 29 degrees yesterday. And it is just so hot. Like, it's so hot. I, have a, I need a fan in my room left on the whole time. It's just, yeah, it's too hot for us. <laughs> I'm finally getting to sit down and update the vlog. So much has happened. It's only been two days. This is like day three, officially. Late morning of day three. It's just been so hectic, but like nicely hectic, if that makes sense. I have taken lots of footage. I just haven't actually gotten to do too much camera talking. But finally, here I am. I'm here. I made it in one piece. I got here on Wednesday morning. I landed in Dublin at about eight in the morning, and then I had a two hour drive, about two and a half hour drive home to where I live. I got on the right side of the time difference. This is probably the quickest I think I've ever adapted to the time difference. Normally it takes me a couple days to feel human again. I just, I don't know, I think I just nailed the first day. I got, got home, went to bed for a couple hours in the afternoon and then I got up about four and then inhaled some caffeine. Not literally. Yeah, I managed to stay up until like 10 or 11 and then went to bed at a normal time and then slept for like 11 hours and then got up on the right side. I'm officially on Irish time, which feels great, and I don't feel like sick or tired anymore. I just, I got it this time. I got it down. I've done it so many times now. It's been great. It's been so nice. We've been just sitting out, just catching up with the family the last couple of days, just hanging out, chatting, sitting in the garden all day or all evening and good food, lots of tea just chatting for hours, it's been so nice. Yesterday we went to the beach, we had a beach day. We went to Old Head Beach, which was so fun. We stayed really late, the sun didn't set till 10 p.m. Got home at like midnight and I went to bed and slept eight hours, so I'm good. I'm adjusted, I'm here. <laughs> just had so much fun. I got a haircut yesterday and it feels great. Still the same length, but it just feels tidier and looks so much better than it did before. Not having to quarantine, has just made a world of difference. I feel so grateful to be here. Like, I feel so lucky. I know I'm so lucky. And I'm just grateful for that I even get to do this and had the chance to do this and to do it safely. Like when I came in December, I had to come straight up to this room and stay in here for 14 days and not being able to like be close to them was really hard. Um, but it just made it all the more sweeter this time that I could just go straight to them and hug them. I'm about to head to Cork with my sister for a little road trip. We're going down for the weekend. That'll probably be in the next part, part two. Hope you enjoyed everything so far. Hope you enjoyed the video and the travels and everything. Stay tuned for part two. Just keep an eye out. Keep your notifications turned on. Thank you so much for, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye. She does. Welcome home. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. <laughs>